I made my first surfboard when I was about 1961 uh, when we were in junior high school. We uh, got aboard and started working on it and uh, that was kind of the, the thing that got me interested in actually working on surfboards and shaping them, that sort of thing. I was only, I think, 12 years old then, so it was, uh, I started pretty young. What got me into shaping was um, I was getting boards from different companies and, and uh, I would got onto a surf team. <laughs> and uh, I had a board that was stolen and, and I was having a hard time replacing it. So I thought, well, heck, I'll just make my own. And so I went down and, and uh, got a blank and shaped away and started making my own boards. And, and uh, that was kind of the, the beginning of it. Uh, I like to do things with my hands. I like to make things. And so it was real natural for me to just dive in and, and start shaping. And probably I'd only shaped a few boards. And I got a job shaping for Greek surfboards in Huntington Beach. So I immediately went into production. And that really upped my ability in a very quick way to be able to learn from professional people uh, how to shape. And uh, it wasn't long after that I opened my first shop in, I think, 1969. You know, as far as a dream, I think the dream is just simply uh, doing what I love to do and being a part of it. You know, I love to surf and I, I like to make things. So it's just a natural that I would, uh, you know, be involved in, in the two things that really work for me, uh, surfing and then making the boards. I was fortunate very early on, probably my second or third year into business, to be one of the largest manufacturers of surfboards in the world. I made the boards for David Nueva and Corky Carroll, John Peck, Dale Dobson, Tiger Macon. There's a whole bunch of really predominant surfers back in the day who all, I made their boards and they surfed for me and they're on my, my payroll. good lifestyle you know I go surfing every day I come into work more or less when I want to come in as it went on I started traveling and so I went to Hawaii and uh, was in Hawaii 10 years and I raised some of my kids in Hawaii and lived right at Rocky Point surfed three four times a day uh, for a long time and I had a shop right underneath uh, my house and so I could make boards and surf and just it was a good lifestyle <laughs> something that I kind of uh, developed a reputation for as far as inventing and designing. Uh, pretty early on I invented the, the wing tail where the board comes down and in, in dents and comes in uh, back in the early 70s, 71, 72, which was pretty revolutionary back in the day. And then after that, 
literally all surfboards made through the 80s had wings on them. It's really good from the standpoint of me being a surfer and wanting to do something specific and then being able to, to take that and having the knowledge to be able to translate it into how to change the design of the board. I can glass it really quick and within probably not even a week I have it in the water. And so what I had in my mind, what I was thinking, I'm actually testing now. And the good thing about it, I think for me anyhow, is that I don't have to go through somebody else as far as translating things. I don't have to, being a surfer, if I wasn't a surfer and I had to make the board for somebody else and they went out and surfed it and I'd get their feedback, but their feedback and their language of feedback might be a little bit different. And so there was a, a complete, there was no translation problem between what I want to accomplish and I know exactly what to do to change that. So it's been really fun, uh, you know, designing boards and, and, and primarily I design boards for myself. I like to nose ride. Uh, I have the world's record nose ride. That was back in 98 for 28 and a half seconds or something like that. So I love to nose ride and I love to uh, just kind of surf a longboard like a shortboard in a way. Uh, so I've been in about two, over 200 contests in the last 25 years. I'd like to, at this point, pass it on down to my grandkids. I have uh, 17 grandkids, and so they all, most of them live uh, on the North Shore of Oahu, and they surf uh, Rocky Point area all the time. I started helping them learn how to do repairs. I got them a grinder and, and that sort of thing, and, and so to the extent that they want to learn, I'm, I would love to teach them.